All right. Well, uh, hi there, everybody. I'm uh, Jason Bullman. I'm the uh, director of game design at uh, Paizo and the creator of the Pathfinder role-playing game. Uh, here today, I'm going to be uh, playing around with uh, Kingmaker. I've already started a playthrough of this that I've been broadcasting on YouTube. Uh, instead of picking up that game, I figured for Twitch I might start up something new. At some point in time, I might decide to swap between the two. But for now, just to get uh, uh, my uh, handle on things, I figured it would probably be best to uh, uh, have... Uh, this be a different character just so I don't mess up the other stream uh, permanently. So, uh, for this I am going to uh, start by making a brand new character. So, let's uh, get that rolling here. Uh, looking at the various modes of play, um, there's been a fair amount of commentary about how challenging normal mode is uh, as uh, the person who helped make uh, the original role-playing game for this. Uh, I think I'd be lambasted if I don't at least go normal mode, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, I'm going to make my own character, though, just to walk you through the process, for those of you who might be new. Now we've got a bunch of character portraits here. Um, I think uh, for my first playthrough I'm playing a paladin for this one. I think instead I'm going to play a uh, rogue, so I want to find a piece of art that is suitably roguey. That's not bad. A little wildernessy, but but not bad. I think I want to go with a halfling for this one. Uh, I'm tempted by that, but it's a little too ostentatious, and I know the role of that character. So instead, uh, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, we're gonna go with this guy. And uh, I'll go ahead and make a male. And body type looks a little, a little bigger. Uh, we'll go for the mid-range, body type 1. Face. Ooh, something a little fierce. Oh, that's too fierce. I'm uh, way too happy. Silly halflings. I'm going to go with face 2. Determined, but not uh, not uh, overly, uh, overly fierce. Uh, Right-handed is fine. Hairstyle. Uh, it's too tussled. I mean, something messier. might do. Four isn't bad. Um, oh yeah, we'll go with that. No facial hair on a halfling. That's just weird. Darker hair. Yeah, all that looks good. Let's keep on moving. Alright, so for this character, I think I'm going to build a rogue. I want to see how some of the stealth mechanics work in the game, so let's uh, start by building a rogue. Now, you can just go classic rogue, that's going to give you all of the abilities that are listed over here, um, but you also have a, a choice of going with one of the uh, archetypes. Alright, I am thinking that uh, I might go Knife Master. Um, it's uh, good for murdering people with daggers and similar weapons, uh, which I think I'm probably not going to have too hard of a time getting plenty of. Uh... By the way, I'm trying to monitor uh, chat feed here through a couple different means. Uh, for those of you who are watching, uh, I'll try and pay attention. It may be a little tricky for me to uh, follow. Um, uh just because uh, it is uh, hard to distract uh, from the uh, actual play here. The Knife Master is interesting. It gives you uh, a number of kind of interesting abilities, including Sneak Stab, uh, which uh, sounds delightful. Um, it makes uh, sneak attacks with daggers, kukri, punching daggers, star knives, and sai be D8s instead of D6s, which is really good. Um, so I think... I'm going to focus on that. Um, other than that, you get pretty much standard rogue proficiencies. There are some uh, other uh, extra special uh, abilities like blade sense and whatnot that you get as you go up in level. So I think I'm going to go with Knife Master for this guy. 
And time to build my ability scores. This is the standard point by method. Uh, for those of you familiar with uh, with Pathfinder First Edition, the point by method was kind of the most common method for building kind of balanced characters. It allowed you to get a nice even array of ability scores, uh, even if uh, you know uh, you wanted to make sure that everybody in your group was kind of balanced against each other. Uh, this is no different. So for this, I obviously want to hide decks. And for a rogue, I think I'm going to take that as high as it'll go. For this character, that's going to be a 20. I get a plus 2 because of uh, a halfling uh, dex bonus. Um, aside from that, everything else is kind of gravy. I definitely want con. Without a good con, I'm toast. So we're going to take that up to a 14. Uh, we don't have a lot of points left over after that. Um, having a good int is handy, but rogues do get a lot of skills already. So I'm thinking definitely get my wisdom up a little bit. And uh, oh, that strength is gonna is gonna gonna vex me. Uh, I think I have a plan, and that plan is to lower my int by a point and get that strength up to a ten, so I'm not taking a damage penalty. Normally, I wouldn't bother with that, but I know that in a game like this, uh, encumbrance is going to be an important thing, so I definitely want to make sure that I'm not being uh, uh, over-encumbered, and I think that is a fine mix right there. Mobility, um, trickery, and stealth, along with some perception to help me find traps, seems like the useful build. All right, now, I only get one feat here at first level. There's a lot of options to choose from. Point Blank Shot is interesting, but I, I'm not sure it's actually all that valuable for a first level rogue to take, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, Combat Reflexes is pretty good. Makes uh, additional attacks of opportunity with my high decks. I would uh, certainly get a lot of that. Um, so that's not bad. Um, dodge is generally pretty good for a low-level rogue, just because the extra point of AC is going to help you throughout your entire career, and dodge bonuses stack with everything. Definitely not a bad choice. Uh, I think... Stealthy is just going to give me a bonus to mobility and stealth. Not that useful. Yeah, I think we're going to go dodge. Not the most exciting feat, but the one that does pay good dividends throughout a character's career. Um, I've got a bunch of voices to choose from here. I'll take care of it. Oh, definitely not that. Get it off me. Mm, that's a likely candidate. Let us press on. Oh no. This is my path. No. My skills exceed yours. Ooh, maybe. Let's hear you cry. Absolutely not. I'll go ahead. I think that's gonna go. All I see is blackness. Yeah, let's go, Madman. That'll work. I was born on the thirteenth of. Ferast. All of our months are named after our deities, uh, if you haven't picked up on that. Alright, I need a name. Oh, let's see. We will go with... Uh, Fennec. Blackblade. Big fan of the portmanteau last name. All right, chaotic neutral. I think I am now just to uh, taking a look at all that my character can do. Uh, looks like a pretty decent build all around. Uh, let's see here. Uh, pretty good stats. Probably want to fix that int at some point in time, but not right now. That's what I want to see. That stealth is way up there. That is very handy. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much it for character generation. I've uh, I've created everything I need to create. I've made all the choices I need to make. They don't let you pick any gear here at first. Uh, you kind of get assigned a uh, suite of gear, um, which I will certainly make work. All right, let's uh, move on. No taking 20 on your trickery checks here, I guess. Come back at a higher level. Let's 
Just an old second edition roll. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. <laughs> I'm significantly taller in that drawing. Where are they? This is taking forever! He didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway? Rich folk? Thank you, Amiri. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Ah, Tartuccio. Such a jerk. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Oh, I didn't notice the smoke coming off the candles before. That's pretty pleasant. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I'd see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restoff needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. I appreciate the fact that the entire plot of this is there's some nations nearby that aren't really very well organized, so why don't you just go take their lands and declare yourself king? Why don't you just do that? That'll be fine. It'll be great. What could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Standard diplomacy. Go talk to their leader, but don't really talk to him. Just cut off his head and bring it to me. Uh, well, I'm playing a rogue, so... And what reward will you seek beyond a noble title and your own land? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. <laughs> words, sure. Words, words. Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. I don't know, that financial word might get you uh, part way there. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after Talk. all. Don't worry, you know. I'll make it worth your while to help me. I'm not sure about that guy. We haven't yet <laughs> begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains a title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <laughs> Cherry. 
<clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. <laughs> yeah, I mean, except for the fact that I'm a player character and clearly they're going to give it to me, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> you venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restaur, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Oh, he's very optimistic. <laughs> I mean... Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? <laughs> Listen, I'm a rogue. We don't need a bard around here. All the trap finding will be done by me. I mean, unless you want to walk first. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team and he's just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This is it's because we're both halflings. This is the person I'll write my book about. That's right. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a hero. I'm a. I'm a rogue. What are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches, or maybe you want glory too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Uh, just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of best case people who saw things from the outside. Worst case. Someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Because then they would have to listen to a bard the entire journey. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. Just uh, for those of you who are joining a little later on, uh, I have just started a brand new character for this. I, uh, I've been playing for a bit with a different character. I've been recording those and throwing them up on YouTube. So I just decided to start fresh here for Twitch. So welcome to the room, everybody. Uh, if you missed out, I'm Jason Bullman. I'm the uh, director of game design at Paizo, and I'm the guy who created Pathfinder originally. Uh, although I didn't have a lot to do with this other than to uh, give some advice on how to translate a few of the rules here and there. Uh, so I'm kind of experiencing this, well, in some case for the second time, uh, uh, along with all of you. So I hope you're enjoying. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or God's forbid, Tartuccio? No way. <laughs> well, I'm a rogue who's incredibly brave, so sure. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Yes, make sure to write about how tall I am. Or, or not tall, as the case may be. So I haven't played a rogue before. I'm, I'm kind of taking a, a look at some of the abilities. I have uh, acrobatics, which allow me to move through certain squares. I can fight defensively, demoralize, and charge. I'm not uh, quite seeing stealth in here uh, as an option. Oh, that's over here on the side. All right. Uh, that's good to know. Yes, I, I know all about movement. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue with the story here, keep things moving around. Oh, I think we can be done with the tutorial. Time becomes distance. 
Now, for those of you watching in the stream, uh, if you're having any trouble with the video or audio quality, uh, let me know. Uh, this is the first time I've streamed uh, live from here at home, so if there are any problems, I'd like to know. I mean, there's always time for a few jokes. You're a bard. Some felons broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. All right. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. All right, so I'm wagering. Oh, I'm not beating this guy in initiative at all. But uh, we'll roll with that. Oh, oh no. What's my weapon set? A crossbow? Oh, you've got to be joking me. I'm going to provoke an attack of opportunity every single time. <laughs> oh no. They didn't give me a dagger. Yeah, I am going to get stabbed a lot. <laughs> like that? What? You didn't? Oh great, a uh, critical hit for two. Yeah! <laughs> I need this guy's dagger desperately. I really do. I'm hoping this guy has a dagger. I'm going to steal it and equip it. A dagger! Yes! <laughs> I don't think I'll be taking that, but I will definitely take the dagger. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at my gear set here. Uh, oh, good. They did give me a punching dagger. They just didn't equip it. Well, that's good to know. I have a punching dagger and a uh, regular dagger. I think I'm going to go with the regular dagger for the time being. Although I will go ahead and throw the punching dagger in a different weapon set. So at least I've got it uh, all set up. This chain shirt I'm going to drop. It's uh, it's too heavy for me to carry. It's encumbering me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. All right. Well, there's no point in hiding in shadows when I'm running around in the middle of the light. More assassins. Yeah! Alright, well I have a great initiative check. May I see your entrails, please? Oh, there we go. Die, die. Well, dagger murder. So, uh, interesting note about this game. Flanking doesn't require exact positioning. It just requires two characters attacking the same person. So as a rogue, I'm going to get to flank an awful lot. <laughs> You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Oh, I'm Maybe sure you are. <laughs> the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. I don't trust this guy. Alright, let's see here. We got some ordinary daggers. Uh, I'm not really... It's not really worth me carrying the weight right now. But I think I'm going to look around and see if I can't uh, maybe find a little bit more loot. 
Uh, some incense is probably worth picking up. What do we have in here? Don't remind me, I'm just uh, exploring the treasure possibilities. An old map of Avistan. Is it one that I drew? Because those are pretty shoddy. <laughs> yeah. I actually drew one of the very first maps of our world. Um, Eric had the distinction of drawing the very first ever draft, which was known as the infamous kind of T-shaped map. I took that and turned it into uh, what would become the final version of the Galarian game world map. Um, used to this day, actually. Um, be interesting to see what happens to it in second edition. I haven't really checked in on that process. I suppose I probably should. All right. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. All right. More bad guys. I'm going to use some bardic music here. Tortuccio. Throw a... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and have him throw... Burning hands. Oh, actually, he's not within range. Okay. Acid Splash it is. Lots of stabbing. <laughs> Can we retreat now? Oh, hey, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I realized the other day that uh, my stream quality here from home was actually pretty decent, so uh, I decided to give this a shot. Figured I'd uh, start by. Uh, uh, playing a, uh, a new character, at the very least, for the time being. Alright. Oop, forgot to loot one character. Oh, definitely worth that. Alright, so I've got some uh, potions here. It's best for me to probably go and equip a few of them, just to make sure I don't end up not having the tools needing, needed to survive. I'm giving Tortuccio nothing. That rat gets nothing. I hate that guy. All right. I deserve better. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, some loot. No, oh, no, thank you. Oh, those are both very heavy. I'm not carrying those. Let's see, anything else in here? Nope, just the treasure chest, which has some stuff in it I do not need. Definitely taking the gold. party here in the chat. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> I'm just looting and robbing, because I'm playing a rogue this time. In the other game I was playing, uh, which is up on uh, my YouTube, I'm playing a paladin, so I didn't rob anything. I kind of took a few odds and ends, but then I started to feel bad about it, so I kind of stopped. Not so this time. I take everything. Oh, but Dan, I do have a face cam. That's right. I have an entire extra scene just for seeing me. Hello, Dan. <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah, I, uh, I have two set up. One for when I'm playing and uh, one for when I want to uh, kind of chat about the game world.
Uh, so someone just asked, uh, why am I doing another playthrough? Uh, this is actually kind of more of a test than anything. I figured I'd start from scratch if I was going to play on Twitch. I may decide to change my mind and go back to the other character and continue my playthrough there. Um, but right now I'm just not sure. So I figured I'd start out making a new rogue, see how the beginning was kind of different if I played a rogue character instead of a paladin. Um, we'll see how it goes. I have a sneaking suspicion it'll play, uh, pretty similarly. So we'll see how it goes. Get in there and fight. Don't let Amira do all the killing. Well, okay, Amira did most of the killing. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. Blood for Gorum! <laughs> all right, good goodbye, Amira. <laughs> I think that's exactly how heroes should... What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. <laughs> Speaking of which, well, excuse me while I loot all the things. All right. Hey, what's that? Oh. Yeah, never mind. I knew that. The gate is securely locked. Thank you. Tooltip. Ah, oh, they brought a frost giant. Those guys are being owned. Ooh, a club. Worth one gold. Yeah, no, forget that. I'm not picking that up. That's garbage. That's garbage loot for garbage people. Oh, we'll pick up a longsword and a shield just to have them. Don't know that it'll matter. Is anybody encumbered? No, we're still alive. That's fine. All right. All right. I did it. A dexterity check. You don't say. Crushed it. My name onto your flesh. Hey there, villains. Oh, let's go ahead and get a little bird up and running. I'll go ahead and have him hold back for just half a moment. There we are. Last wishes. Die, die, die. Yeah, please act. <laughs> Come on. You archer bastard. Get over here. <laughs> Problem solved. Lots of mundane gear. Should probably have her drink a potion. And just because I don't want him going down in the middle of a fight. Ugh. Yeah, he only gets one. Forget it. That's all you get. <laughs> Jerk. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Break into the armory? You don't say.
No, we'll take that just because it's very valuable. And we'll take that as well. Sure. Not gonna bother with the tower shield. That thing weighs 45 pounds. <laughs> oh, hey look at a chest. Last time I uh last time I very specifically ignored this. I was like, I'm not stealing from the Lord of the Manor, I'm a paladin. Why would I do that? That would be wrong. Very wrong. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. That's right. Heroically. A lot. Take a look. Are you out of your mind? We're in the middle of a battle. Quiet, Lindsay. Blood flowing in rivers as an army of assassins chases us. And you want us to rob her? Yeah, no, that's happening. 210? <laughs> Riches. <laughs> oh, am I uncovered now? Oh, yeah, definitely. Need to uh, drop that junk. And we'll definitely drop that as well. Let's see if I can't get a few more pieces of heavy equipment off there. There, we're back down to light. All right. Mm, all right. Right here. Yeah, Tortuccio uh, may be kind of a jerk who's uh, advocating that we steal from our leech lord, and that does make me feel kind of bad, but it's also 200 gold, and I, just earlier this morning, had to steal a crust of bread from a beggar, so I'm going to take it. It's mine now. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathor. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. And I'm unlawful, so, I mean, we could get along just fine. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or... As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Agreed. Kind of. But first... Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Yeah, there's a trap. Yeah. But first, the robbery. I got this. I'll get it the second time, no worries. There we go. What's on the bureau? Mm. Yeah, I don't think I need another one of those.
normally I would be uh, all for uh, totally gray hawking the dungeon, uh, which is the term we used to use for her stealing literally everything that wasn't nailed down. I had one group of adventurers back in the day who would literally steal the door handles because they weighed iron, and iron had a value in the book, so they could sell it and make a little extra money. That's a bit extreme. I mean, those tapestries look nice, though. I should take those. Oh, hey, some scrolls. Not bad. How dare they? Don't they know this is my place to rob? Leave this one to me. Secret cash. Request. All right. Now, if I recall correctly. There were two sets of statues here. I will grant your request. I'm getting them all to raise their swords simultaneously. It's a bit of a trick. <laughs> Alright. Try that again. No, oh, you stay there. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. Ask. The road calls me. I'll take the <laughs> Come on. So many thoughts, so little time. <laughs> I totally forgot how this puzzle works. <laughs> time I think it took me like 20 minutes to solve this puzzle so I may not bore you all with it this time I may just move on Speak. Step, step, step. all right instead of making you all watch me boringly try and figure out how to uh, solve that puzzle I think I'll just move on <laughs> it's really not worth it I mean, there's some good treasure in there, if I recall correctly, but I can't remember for the life of me how to solve it. You cannot stand against me. You're stuck already. <laughs> Unworthy. Oh yeah, sneak attack with the daggers. Where it's at.
it's always entertaining watching other people uh, in the chat because you guys are, you know, a good minute or two behind me. So uh, I always see you respond to things after I have moved on in this case. Oh yeah. We are a murder machine. I think in my first playthrough I solved that puzzle just by dumb luck. I just happened to hit the right statue. There doesn't seem to me, unless it's something that I missed, uh, some way to solve it inherently. Um, it's funny. As a, as a game designer, I kind of really dislike puzzles that don't give you any real indication of how they're solved. In this case, it's kind of a trial and error puzzle, um, which I think is kind of the weakest form of puzzle. I understand why people do it. I understand why they put it in games. Uh, but I honestly think there are better ways to do that. Even some subtle shading in the floor patterns or some tiling above uh, would have made that a whole lot better. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. That's impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. Not sure I ever really fully explored this map. Not sure if there was... Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't even know this was over here last time. No secrets can escape my pride games. Oh, hey. This is something I entirely missed last time. The grate is heavily securely locked, but this isn't. Oh, absolutely. Yes. That is all great. Great. Get it? There's a great. Alright, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw a... Do we have a heal? Do we not have a single target heal? No. We've got our channels. Alright. We'll deal with that later then. All right. Well, there you go. Spoilers, everyone. There's a secret chamber back there. Forwards? Uh, no, you come and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. <laughs> it would be funny if he was like, You seem to be jingling a lot. Is that a lot of our money in your pocket? No. no. Someone else? No. <laughs> May Abadar keep you safe. Uh, okay, so, uh, I need to go through the fire. Alright. Let's run, everybody. We'll just go real quick-like. So I've played this bit before, and, uh, it really is well done. Uh, I appreciate the fact that, uh, when you get to this part, it changes over to a narrative structure. If this were just a point-click run through the fire as quickly as possible, it wouldn't work very well. I find that those things never really work well, especially in these three-quarter perspective game. You can do more exciting stuff first-person, but in three-quarter it doesn't quite work. So I appreciate the fact that they found a way around that narrative using these kind of choose-your-own-adventure panels. Um, I think we're going to drench ourselves with buckets of water to keep ourselves safe. But 
We're not going to find a less dangerous passage. Time is of the essence. Oh. Sure. We'll try the athletics check. Ah, oh, yes. Save the night. Gain some XP. Sounds great. So it looks like I've left behind uh, some piles of junk for the most part. Uh, there's some interesting stuff in here, but I'm already medium encumbered and I really kind of don't want to go into the final fight with a whole bunch of weight weighing me down, so I'm just going to go right ahead. Normally I might find a better balance point and kind of carry just enough to keep me in medium, uh, but I'd rather not waste the time doing that, so we'll, we'll just keep moving along. Go, noble lords. Repent who will prevail. Does it Murder as quickly as possible. More murder. Kill the spellcasters. <laughs> oh, Amiria's joined the fight. Those guys back there are owned. Who's running away? Ah, you coward. Definitely need to be doing that. That is for sure. Tortuccio, get those magic missiles out here. <laughs> More magic missiles. Magic missiles. Always more magic missiles. <laughs> Time to take care of that last rift channeler. Solved and nobody went down, although I am at one. Hey, it's you. <laughs> Time to do some healing. <laughs> the end falls near. Murdering the mage. We shall move. Always a solid decision. Pile of corpses over here. They all died in one nice convenient heap. Good on them. Always useful dying in a nice pile. I don't think any of them have magic weapons or anything super useful. Alright. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just you as sure I did. thought, there were worthy <laughs> leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. 
Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You yep. begin your expedition immediately. Yep, we should definitely begin that expedition immediately without anybody looking through anybody's belt pouch or coin purse. Lady Adori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What? What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. <laughs> oh. Should I just go straight to murdering him? Can Is that an option? <laughs> ah, she's not going to let me. Uh... Well, I didn't put on the ring, so Lady let's Adori, try that. I saw it with my own eyes. The ring must be in his pocket. Search him and I'm sure. Enough, Tartuccio. I'm still the one giving orders here. We won't be searching anyone. That's right. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. To be fair, I'm I'm a pretty suspicious character, so I mean, you know, it very well could be me. Uh, it does make sense. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior, I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand, <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy and the mug of a spy. <laughs> I never noticed the first time around that she calls him a purple crook. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, he immediately pocketed it all. Oh, well, I'm not going with the lawful neutral option. I think I'm going to go chaotic neutral. Let's see what happens. I'll be the judge of how my guards have handled their responsibilities. Please return the money now. No. <laughs> is this not enough of my smiling face, Dan? Of course, theft is not to be condoned. But when the fire burns around you, and you are but one step away from death, would it not be insane to worry about laws and rules? I see this not as a crime, but as a unique wisdom visiting us as we stood at the face of oblivion. <laughs> Dan... I know you just want to see my smiling face all the time, so I'll, I'll leave it here for the time being. Uh, I've seen a recent mod, actually, that looks like it replaces the person's character portrait with the cam, um, which is actually really cool, and actually in uh, the common game footage that might work out okay. There is a difference between initiative taken in battle and blatant arrogation. How can someone who disregards authorities be a leader himself? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Well, I'm, I'm not going to do the, the neutral evil act. That's that's a bunch of bull. We'll, we'll try this. Really, Cartuccio? No. You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. Uh, my actual alignment is chaotic neutral, by the way. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight. Not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. Huh. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. 
Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. <laughs> my, uh, my alignment is awful clever. That's what it is. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to settle for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me, but I don't appreciate your willfulness. <laughs> my, my willfulness. I.e. my willingness to steal from people. You're no fun at all. <laughs> and I like our leader. What wisdom lies in minding orders, laws, and rules in the face of oblivion, knowing not whether you'll be alive tomorrow? I will go with his team. All right. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. <laughs> I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. Rotten spy guts. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I appreciate the fact that my necessary travel supplies include a signed scroll of Ray's Dead. I always thought this was weird the first time around, and I still haven't figured out why it had to be a signed scroll. Like, it, it does it have someone's signature on it, or uh, is it autographed? I don't... Is, high Cleric of, uh, of uh, Phrasma was like, hey, this is okay, enjoy your trip through the afterlife. I, I don't get it, I don't get it. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. Not my feats. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path. And you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Yeah, funny enough, I do actually think the signed bit a terrible night. is a our translation issue. <laughs> set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, I have had a blast uh, playing through the intro of this tonight, and it's I'm glad to see that uh, there's a number of you uh, who have been enjoying it as well. Uh, I think this is uh, has been fun and is a, a kind of more engaging way to play than just kind of. Um, playing along by myself, editing it, and putting it up for people to see on YouTube. So maybe I'll do some more of this in the future. Uh, for me tonight, though, i got to go find some dinner, and uh, maybe I'll hop on again later 
but I might save more of this for uh, more prime time streaming later on in the week. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, make sure to... Uh, I don't know. I was about to say, make sure to subscribe, but you, you, I, I don't think you can do that. I'm not an affiliate yet, so uh, make sure to follow uh, me here on Twitch if you want to see more, and uh, we will catch you around next time.